have here Nicholas Olsen, who's a global brand manager from Flint Group Narrow Web. Um, so I'd just like to start off by, by asking you, Nicholas, uh, about the American market as you see it at the moment. Well, we see uh, some opportunities. We see growth. Uh, the last couple of months have been growing quite well. I think we had a, a downturn last year, but uh, we're expecting uh, a good year this year. And I think uh, there are some good, good moves going on. Great. And that's an American show, but do you expect to see many people here from around the world, globally? Yeah, I mean, I think uh, we obviously see a lot of people from Latin America normally. Uh, I know specifically there are people from Europe coming over for this show just to see all the new things. Uh, the LED introduction has sort of already started to uh, create some waves, so we know customers coming over specifically for that. So I expect, um, yeah, it's maybe not so many from Europe, but there's d definitely people coming over from all parts of the world. And of course, um, LED is really one of the major sort of things that you'll be talking about at the show. Uh, LED has been around for a, a little while now, but um, but you'll be showing it, I believe, with Mark Andy at the show, in a, a live demonstration. Yeah, I mean, we've uh, uh, developed a UV flex, a UV screen inks for LED curing. And uh, it's an interesting one. It's one of those where you say, uh, I think it's a kind of a next step uh, in cure in UV. Um, we are excited about the um, development as such. I think there are some, uh, it, it addresses a lot of the challenges that people have now with uh, the lower energy. Um, technically, uh, it works as any normal ink or system. Um, so I think fun from a functionality point of view, it gives all the benefits that normal inks has, but then you have the, the saving of um, lower energy consumption. So it's early days yet. Uh, it's a first step, of course, but uh, we're excited about um, and want to hear, say, what people think about it. We, we believe that this is a, a future step that uh, in UV Flexo. So did you say also you, you have a, have a, scr a screen ink yeah. as well? So UV Flex, so UV Screen, um, metallic inks. So basically, the idea is that you shouldn't uh, need to sacrifice anything. You could print non your normal labels on the LED cure. Um, generation one, you could call it this for a kind of standard label applications. We will look at, say, low migration technology for a next step. Um, and um, I think also offset has been mentioned, but people are now interested to look at it in offset. And yeah, we say, that's a possibility. If we, uh, there's a market uh, coming up, then we'll look at that as well. well what kind of um, press running speeds can you get up to on the flex LED Flexo press? Uh, I think we're, say, you could say normal speed what you run today, but I think we have been up to 400 feet, 450 feet uh, per minute, so uh, which I think you say above average what people are running, but uh, it's there's no limitation in that sense from. Uh, Drying speed. Oh, that sounds like very exciting technology, and I'm certainly looking forward to seeing it tomorrow when the show opens. So, uh, I'll catch up with you then. Yep. Thanks. Thanks. Thanks.